but I don't feel like just because I didn't have the normal education that other kids my age did will stop me in any way. If children don't go to school, won't they be limited in their opportunities? Without certificates to prove their learning, how will they go on to university? This is one of the most common doubts that people have about unschooling and self-directed education. We decided to ask unschoolers themselves. Hi, my name is Laura Keller. I am a uh, unschooled, lifelong learner. I've worked in the game industry. I've also started a school for my kids to be self-directed, so it's a self-directed learning environment. My name is Arnold Roa, I'm 32 years old. I was born in Colombia, now living in Lima, and I will give my best to tell you in English what is my history as a school child. It had begun when I was 11. I had a disease in my brain that didn't allow me to continue my studies in the school, so I have to exit the school and I started to read a lot about the topics that I, I was interested in because I didn't want to stop learning. I'm Maeve Dorsey, I am 15 and I currently am working in a circus. I don't feel like unschooling has set me back in any way. I found most of the workforce I've been a part of, people look for experience, not education. I just see opportunities everywhere I go. I see a lot of people struggling with that. They don't look to create opportunities around them. Um, they're kind of waiting for people to give them opportunities. I think you just gotta create your opportunities. The school was an institution that was built not that long ago. When I talk to people that um, run businesses or in, they're, they're always looking for people to just like take the reins. And I also have created my own companies in very different topics. In total, I have founded six companies. The last one, we sold more than one million dollars in the first year, which is an interesting success here in the region. We are understood to be more like free-thinking, creative people, and people seek that out. I hesitate to say it's just because of unschooling, but I do think that that gives more room. It, le it leaves more room for that kind of skill, I guess, or just way of seeing yourself in the world. So it's certainly a common question, especially when I was um, about 18 and I was deciding not to go to college when many of my peers were deciding to go to college of like, what are you going to do? Um, what opportunities are you going to have? Like, are you limiting yourself? I feel that there's so many opportunities in this world. Even if I go to college, I'm never going to be able to do them all. My options were pretty much unlimited. I decided to take the SATs, spent about six weeks studying for them, and then um, dual enrolled at a local community college, and then was able to use that to apply to and transfer to four-year universities. I feel very fortunate again that I was not in school. I was able to gain real-world experience, gain exposure to multiple different careers, different fields, different people, and really find what I think is the best fit for me. I do know a lot of people who were given more freedom to figure life out for themselves are more comfortable and just seem to believe that it's up to them to kind of figure out how they want to be happy or be successful or be motivated. I think my history also shows that didn't attend to a school does me and you will not have success in life. I've never regretted uh, not being in school, I think it was one of the best things uh, that could have happened for me. I don't think that not going to school is limiting opportunities, I think it's changing the opportunities. And I think that's beautiful because I think that gives um, me a different range of education than many other people. And I think that we can learn a lot from each other and I think that's a beautiful thing. This video was possible thanks to the Alliance for Self-Directed Education and everyone who responded to our call for crowdsourced videos. We need your support to continue creating these videos. So please share with your friends and click on the links in the description to support EDIT, a media platform in service of education and transformation.